Hi everyone, welcome back to Project Reactor Essentials. So before we start digging into the Project Reactor, let's do a quick recap from the first class. Well, remember that we are going to work here with reactive streams. So reactive streams is just a standard. And as you saw, we only have four uh, interfaces. And basically it tells that whoever is provided the implementation needs to have the code asynchronous. The code should also be non-blocking and should handle back pressure. And if you remember, we have four interfaces, but basically we have to remember for this training, at least for now, three of them. We have the publisher. Remember, we have the events being raised and someone consuming these events. The ones that are creating the events is the publisher. The publishers here, they are the type code. It means that unless someone subscribes to this publisher, nothing will happen. And the publisher will have someone that will subscribe. The object is a subscriber. So when the subscriber subscribe to a publisher, we have an object or kind of a context that will be created. And this guy is called subscription. So subscription is created. And then once we have this, the publisher will call the on subscribe. So let's uh, check the interface here because it will be easier to talk. Inside the subscriber, we have this on subscribe with the subscription. So basically, once you subscribe, the publisher will create the subscription and then the publisher will call the on subscribe with the subscription from the subscriber. Okay, and now that we have this relationship created, the subscription can be used to handle the back pressure. So basically the subscription, if we go into the subscription, we have this request and we can tell here, hey, actually the subscriber is the one uh, handling this relationship. The subscriber will request any number of elements through this uh, subscription to the publisher. So the subscriber here is like uh, our wives or wife. So now that we have this subscription uh, and we have this relationship and we can handle the, the back pressure, the publisher here. So if we go to the publisher, we have the subscribe. It will call the subscriber here on next. So the publisher will call the, so the publisher actually will be the one calling the on next will be yeah, the publisher on next from the subscriber. And this on next, it will keep going on until one of these three conditions is met. The first one, the publisher sends all the requested objects. So publisher sends all the objects re requested. What does this mean? It means that, for example, if the publisher can produce 10 cakes, but the subscriber can only consume five, the subscriber will tell the subscription, hey, I would like five cakes. It means that the publisher will send all these five cakes and then the subscription will be canceled or the subscriber can request more. The second condition to this on next be completed is if the publisher sends all the objects it has. So when it sends, the on complete will be called and then the subscriber and the subscription will be canceled. Now, the third one, it's of course, if something bad happens, if there is an error. So if we have an error, then the own error will be called and then the subscriber and the subscription will also be canceled. So if you are running out of dough, 
it means that you cannot produce any cake this means that the subscription and the subscriber uh, it will be cancelled both of them will will die so basically this is what you have to remember from all those uh, slides if you remember all of this it will be good for the next few classes so let's stop for now and in the next one we will finally start creating some stuff with mono so see you in the next video bye